How much student loan debt do you have? It'll be about 300 by the end of it. What's the process of getting a student loan? It's actually really fast and I find that to be sort of dangerous. What are your thoughts on the Joe Biden student debt relief? 43 million Americans have student loan debt, and the typical student borrows $25,000 to get a four-year degree. But today, I'm here at Harvard, and they're known to have not-so-typical students. Let's find out if they had what it took to avoid student debt, or if they need a little help from Joe Biden right now. What's your name and what's your major? Um, I'm Key. My major is psychology. And what year are you? I'm a sophomore. How are you paying for college? I'm on full financial aid. How'd you make that happen? <laughs> I'm poor. <laughs> what is your name and what's your major? My name is Noel Quito and I'm majoring in computer science. What year are you? First year. How'd you get here? How are you paying for this? A uh, four-year ROTC scholarship. Are you going to grad school? I want to get an MBA. I think the Army will take care of that too. You have a good plan. I'm ready. The ASMR. <laughs> what's your name and what's your major? Um, I'm Alex, first year PhD student in the School of Engineering. How much student loan debt do you have? I'm very fortunate I do not have any student loan debt from undergrad. How'd you make that happen? Privilege. I'm an only child, upper middle class family. Thanks mom and dad. What about for grad school? How are you paying for that? So PhD program, they pay me actually. It's not much, but it is a salary. Hi, my name is Alexa and my major is social studies. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> That's a very good question. <laughs> the parent question. <laughs> yeah. How did you pay for school? Uh, I'm on full financial. My name is Anita. Uh, I'm planning to concentrate in government. What is your year? First year. How are you paying for school? My parents. I'm very privileged and lucky to afford education here. How are conversations with your parents about money? Actually, I have a pretty good relationship with them about that. It's pretty transparent and clear, which is why I feel so grateful all the time. My name is Larry. I'm doing a Master of Science at the Med School in Media, Medicine, and Health. How did you pay for college? I do a lot of consulting on the side, so I'll be working full-time while completing my degree. Do you have any student loans? Yes. How much? I'm not answering that. Huh? What are your thoughts on the Joe Biden student debt relief? Hell yeah. Thank you, Joe. That's it. What's your name? I'm Jeremiah. <laughs> and what are your thoughts on the student debt relief? If you look at it from like an economic perspective, maybe from a high level, I don't know how much it'll actually do for the economy necessarily. I think on an individual level, it's great, right? It helps yeah. families and people who are drowning in debt, which is a huge issue. And who's to say what that will translate to in terms of economic benefit? How'd you pay for school? Financial aid. I think the majority of students here are not paying anywhere near full tuition. Even grad students. Graduate students are a different breed, yeah. They they all have they all have lens. What's your name and what's your major? Hi, uh, I'm Augustine. I'm a Harvard Law School student. And you? I am Milan Trujillo, and also a Harvard Law School student. How did you guys pay for college? Uh, a mixture of cash and loans. The bank, all loans. <laughs> what does tuition look like here? It's 100 grand a year after cost of living. Are they all federal loans, private? No, mix. Federal loans, I think they're capped at like 60 or 20 per year. So. How much have you have you pulled so far? Oh, I haven't done the numbers. It'll be about 300 by the end of it. I, I know that. Is there anything you would do differently to prepare for college? We'll make sure that whatever you're going to study has a good return on investment. Going to a place like Harvard Law School, you're going to pay back money back fairly quickly if you're going into private practice or business. For you. Be born richer. <laughs> for you guys, we're actually giving out books. That's why I'm carrying a big suitcase around. Instead of Joe Biden's forgiveness, we're spreading knowledge. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. I read this book after my sophomore year of college, and after I followed its principles, I was able to get a full 100% tuition paid for scholarship. What's your name and what are you studying? David Smith. I'm just a first year here at Harvard Business School. How did you pay for school? A lot of financial aid, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. <laughs> and how much is tuition here? I should have remembered this from the brochure. I think it's 150 total, so like annually it's 75000 we're giving out this book, Debt Free Degree. I've read a lot of Dave Ramsey stuff. What's your name and what are you in school for? So my name is Pratik. I've come here to do a general MBA. I've come from India. I have uh, expertise in uh, investment banking, consulting and healthcare. And I've come here to sort of explore what to do next. Is this your first year here? Yeah, it's my first year. And in fact, it's like the 10th day or something. How are you paying for your school? Part of it is a scholarship and part of it is a loan. The approximate cost per year is around 111,000. Around 50,000 is the scholarship and the remainder 60,000 is the loan. What was something that surprised you? about Harvard. I expected a very competitive atmosphere because I thought everyone's going to be like uh, an uh, overachieving uh, person and you know be competitive but surprisingly it's very open they're not very judgmental they're very collaborative versus competitive. This is turning into a Harvard ad. <laughs> I'm going to give you a book. There you go. What's your name and what are you studying? Uh, my name is Dami and I'm studying the MBA at Harvard yeah. How did you decide an MBA was worth it? Uh, a couple of things I think one being in consulting prior to now I figured out that the brighter consultants that have worked the part before me had an MBA. I 
thought to myself, you know, it was going to be a great experience for me to also get the same degree to get to the levels I want to get to in life. How do you justify the cost? <laughs> That's a good question because it's quite expensive. I think for me, I really relied on the financial aid opportunity that Harvard gives, right? And it's about 60-70% of the entire tuition, which is a lot. Do you have student loans? For now, I don't, but I've got an approved line of, uh, of a student loan. What's the dollar amount of the line? It's about $30,000. What's keeping you from just going in there and getting a little, little bit there? It's, it's quite disciplined, right? Uh, obviously, I'd worked before now and I've saved up some money. So I would just advise generally, you know, leverage savings, leverage your family. I had to also go ask my family. They had to chip in as well. What do you want to do with your MBA? How will it help you in your career? Oh, very, very greatly, right? I think, you know, just given the fact that I want to be a very impactful leader in Africa, just learning from the expertise of people that have actually done it here in my class and also the professors that have done it, I think it's going to give me all the toolkit that I require to go back to Africa and sort of just change the learning landscape. Thank you. I'm going to give you a book. Cool. Oh, Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it. And that's a wrap guys we're done here at the harvard business school it was a success we found people who use student loans but who are also very intentional about what they want to do with their education read books like this take responsibility over your financial life please subscribe follow ashley and i's journey as we try to pay for our wedding using only youtube adsense